Considering a Subaru Forester, take a look at the car, hear a real owner's likes and dislikes, and discover if you should buy the car. I'm blind in my left eye, um, so my peripheral is limited, and so having a large windshield uh, that gives me the vision I need is super important, plus the height uh, of the car. So that is the, the reason I picked the, uh, the Forester. The visibility in the Forester is great. Not only is it great through the front, but along the sides and rear, there is plenty of glass line. In an era of cars that have some pretty wide pillars and sloped roofs that create blind spots, it's nice to see a design with so much glass. Not only does it improve the visibility, but it also connects you with the outside. There's a large moonroof that opens up the interior even more. Overall, it makes the cabin feel light and spacious. In this 2018 model, cloth seating is standard in the 2.5i and 2.5i premium trims, while leather is standard in the limited and touring trims. Headroom and legroom is plenty in the front and rear seats. I particularly like the look of this contemporary fabric. The dashboard and rest of the car's trim have a nice two-tone color scheme with aluminum style accents. In the instrument cluster are two analog dials with a center digital area. Infotainment control is through a good resolution touch screen. Unique to Subarus is this third digital screen with additional information on things like mileage. But even all that window line still leaves you with blind spots. And that's where technology aids come in, like... The blind side uh, warning lights. Uh, and so being blind in all of my peripheral vision, I can detect better on the right-hand side for my blind side, but not so much the left. So when I see that flashing, I know I can't get over. Just stay put. In addition to the blind spot mirrors, the Forester is available with a nice suite of safety features, including rear cross-traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, and pre-collision braking. On the NHTSA test, it received an overall five-star rating. But speaking of safety, here's one annoying thing about the car. I don't like the fact that when I turn on the car that the locks don't automatically lock, uh, that I have to remember to do that. Um, I think it's a safety thing that kind of bums me out that it doesn't do it automatically. It's common to have locks that engage when you drive off, so it's certainly disappointing that the Forester doesn't do that. Now, when it comes to driving, you have a couple of engine choices in the 2018 models. There's the entry-level 2.5-liter engine, producing 170 horsepower and 174 pound-feet of torque. The top-of-the-line 2.0 XT gets a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine, making a good 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Transmission choices include a six-speed manual or a continuously variable transmission. Being a Subaru, the symmetrical all-wheel drive comes standard on all trims. Also available is an X-Drive mode that provides additional stability on rough surfaces. The high 8.7 inches of ground clearance especially helps when off-roading. So, how does it drive? I think it drives fantastic. Uh, I like that it's a four-wheel drive, so my wife especially enjoys that idea if we go up to Tahoe or Reno that it's got the, it's got the oomph to do it. However, the noise uh, is the one thing I don't really, the, the highway noise, it, it is a little noisy inside the car, but the drive itself is fantastic. The EPA mileage is average for its class, but could have been improved were it not for this boxy shape. While this boxy shape has benefits for superior cargo space and visibility, the overall styling is disappointing. It's classified as a crossover, but still feels like a station wagon that was jacked up. The proportions and detailing make the car's design feel like it's from a decade or two ago. 
One bright spot in the exterior styling is this neat pattern on the grille. Okay, so maybe it's not the best looking crossover on the market, but it is priced to compete against its rivals. What is Kathy's recommendation and how many stars does she rate it? I would say buy and I would probably say four and a half only because of the highway noise. But other than that, it's fantastic. If you're considering the Forester, take a look at our other owner reviews and let's get you on the show.